Uh, welcome everybody. Today we're going to present you uh, introducing for DEPCOM Dep 13 in Switzerland with Giacomo Catenati, Phil Hawk, Didier Rabut, uh, Golem Stirling. Okay, so welcome to our presentation. Um, we want to give you a short impression about what to expect from next year's. And in the end, there will also be some time if you have any questions. First, um, yeah, we kind of know our country, but there are, uh, we're not good at advertisement. So we searched the web and found something for you. Next DEPCONF is going to be in Switzerland. We're now here. And yeah, come on here to Europe. You see Europe. It's quite small on the world map. And then in the heart of Europe, you see this very small green point. And there's Switzerland. It's just to notice it's not here. That's Sweden. <laughs> Yeah, if you zoom in, that's Switzerland. Um, we have four languages, you can see. There's French here, there's Italian down there, there's Romansh Grishun in the violet area, and there's some German too in the other parts. And if you apply probability, you would think it would be in the German part, you're wrong. Vomarki, where we will have DEPCONF, is here in the French part. <laughs> What's the region? It's the Chura Mountains. Typical Chura Mountains are Kal, or how do you say, in uh, English. That's quite near to the um, venue, the Gré du Vent. Um, one possible location for the day trip. We haven't planned it yet, but maybe. We have great cheese. <laughs> we have hard cheese and smelly cheese and soft cheese and not so smelly cheese, not like the French, they only have this smelly cheese. <laughs> so we have great wine. Maybe the French have the better wine, I don't know, but we have wine. We have Absent, that's some sort of liquid. And we have some watches. Um, yeah, I hear they're mostly produced in uh, Asia nowadays, but they're still called Swiss watches. We have a lake, too, if you don't like mountains. And yeah, the Credivo. 
And then we went, you know, Switzerland is expensive. So we went looking for a venue and we found this and we think it's great. Um, so, yeah, we have a nice country, but there are no windows, I'm so sorry. But then, yeah, we went looking a bit more. And we found this. <laughs> so, we're happy to not have DebConf in the bunkers, but somewhere else. Um, yeah. But still, we also have this, and that's real. Um, yeah. You won't have single rooms if we, you stay at our venue. These are the most crappy rooms we have. There are some better, but it's either like this or like four to six person rooms, and we have very few smaller rooms, but not too many. That's the whole venue from above. Um, it's here. Probably we will have one talk room, the other one will be in this building. Um, the smaller buildings around here are all the accommodation, dorms, maybe some hack labs, they all have smaller rooms. Um, we have more beds up here and more hack lab -ish rooms there. And in the middle you can see you can do sports, there's a, a Nice area, there's also an outside arena, somewhere here you can see it really, yeah, to have bigger sessions if possible. Yeah. So we have actually three airports around Switzerland that are quite well connected internationally. The closest one is Geneva, it's one hour 30 from Vaumarcu, which is here by train. The other one, big, the biggest one is Zurich. It's about three hours from the venue. And there's another one in Basel, which is up here somewhere. Yeah. Which is about the same distance as Zurich. We're planning to have DEPCON in these two weeks. Don't, these sets are, these dates are not set yet, so it may be one or two days earlier or later, but the weeks are mostly set. We don't, didn't sign the contracts yet, so it may change, but we don't expect it to. Why should you come? Yeah, we have a welcoming country, we have smallish cities. Um, the biggest city is Zurich, the, it's half a million inhabitants, maybe, probably. If you take the whole metropolitan area of Zurich, it's about one million, so no big cities in Switzerland. We're multilingual, so if you speak one of our languages, maybe you can understand and communicate with the people. We have lakes, mountains, and <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> and we have Tepcon. So the mo I hope the most important thing for you is but we have DEPCONF. <laughs> and we have DEPCONF in a typical Swiss environment, not in a big city. We have it outside of the city in a natural environment, as you've seen. And, of course, besides this, as every time, we try to make a really great technical conference for all of Debian. So, but we're four persons here. There are some more already home in Switzerland, we have a global team that helps us, but it's not enough. We need your help to make this happen. Join the DebConf team if you want to help. It works mostly over IRC and on mailing lists, so maybe just connect to the channel, stay in there, and if there's something discussed or some tasks pop up where you think, oh, I might be able to help there, chime in. If you have contacts to potential sponsors, um, we need your contacts. Please get in touch with us. I guess you're all working, or most of you, some of you are all working in some company that is somehow interested in Debian. Maybe they consider sponsoring us. And um, you might have heard about this Penta thing. 
And I'm not talking about the casino over there, or over there. <laughs> I'm talking about this crappy web software. And we really want to replace it, but we need hackers. So if you're not interested in doing organizing work or whatever, but you're great in doing technical work, that might be an opportunity for you. So, are there questions? So, Lydia is going to answer the questions. Uh, the answer is no. <laughs> So, how many beds and you mean this can one? we camp out? Can you repeat the question? How many beds are there and can we camp out in tents? So, the venue has 326 beds. Yeah. And can we sleep in tents? Um, the camping is not yet decided. It's been discussed with the venue um, proprietary and we don't know yet. But we are in discussion. OK. What kind of weather should we expect? Um, the weather you can expect is the weather we, show on the, we have shown on the pictures. So it's mostly summer. And I mean, as here, you have some from time to time rain, but it's probably be a good weather. Cool. But it's not planned yet. <laughs> Will there be more private accommodations? Uh, in the venue, there are some two beds or some, I think, one or two single rooms, uh, uh, single bedrooms. So if that's private enough, we have this. Other than that, uh, not really within the venue. But Is there a hotel nearby then? Uh, if 20 minutes by car is nearby, then yes. It's summertime. How hot is hot and how hot is it during the day, during the night? Uh, not as hot as here. Um, no, the usual when, uh, weather in Switzerland at that time is something like 25 degrees in the day and it go, can go down maybe to 18 in the night, something like that. So quite reasonable, I think. But what's the altitude there? The altitude of the lake is something like 400 meters. And the lake will be also really, really probably tempered, so something like 18 to 20 degrees, the water. So, and it's 10 minutes walk from the venue. Yeah, so the venue is at the same level as the lake. It's not on a mountain looking over the lake. It's at the level of the lake. Well, no, the venue is slightly higher from the lake, so you have to really go down something like 50 meters from the venue to the lake. And can people camp there as an alternative to the accommodation if they want to bring a tent? And is there so within, within the venue, it's currently in discussion and hasn't been decided yet, and in the region there are probably campings that people could hire on their own, so it's, but it, these are open questions for now. Um, do you have already uh, an expectation about the local sponsors? Can you repeat? Uh, local companies uh, want an in, in interesting in sponsor at Debcon. Um. Huh. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we have expectations. If we can reach them, that's another question. We have some very preliminary contacts with one or two companies that are in principle willing to sponsor something, but we didn't talk about the amounts and everything yet. Um, are there enough trees to hang a hammock? Is it allowed? And finally, do you think it's cold enough that maybe we don't need to keep the refrigerators open? Um, uh, maybe it's allowed. I don't know if it's allowed. We didn't discuss this, but... Um, 
Also, um, it might be quite cold in the night, so you really need a good sleeping bag, and it might rain, so it's not like um, you will be able to count on it not having rain all night. <laughs> Hammock's got a root. So we get the idea that there's absinthe. You mentioned it a couple of times. Um, what's the local beer like? Is there any local beer, and how, how expensive is it? <laughs> the beer? Yeah. Um, so there are quite a plenty of local beers produced there, and we have all international beers. The usual price for a beer in a restaurant is something like four Swiss francs, three to four Swiss francs, which is three to four do dollars, basically. Or three, 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 or two and a half. Huh? For three to two and a half to three decilitres. Yeah. For two and two, well, for a third of a litre. <laughs> if you, go ahead. Sorry. If you buy just normal local beer, uh, lager or whatever, then it's like one and a half dollar per a small bottle yeah. okay. in the store. Thanks. And we, yeah. It's not, we don't know yet. What about train stations? How far are them? Okay, so um, we can go back to the map. So, um, that's impressive. The Zurich and Geneva, they have train stations directly at the airport that are connected to all the major cities in Switzerland. So if you come from Geneva, you will have a train directly each half hour to yverdon les bains and from there it's uh, about 20 hours, uh, 20 <laughs> minutes, <laughs> 20 minutes by bus and the bus stop is like 500 meters from the venue on a bit of bumpy road. But and from Zurich, it's the same, but the connection from to Neuchâtel, and then the connection is uh, yeah a bit more. You have to change, or you have to go to Nivedon and come from here. Uh, there are quite a few newish parents uh, this year. It seems so I was wondering if there's any possibility of getting, making some room to, for us to organise a crash. <laughs> Can you repeat? I didn't understand. I'm terribly sorry. Um, there are a few people who have produced little Debian nights this year. Okay. And uh, we were wondering if it was going to be possible to find some sort of space to organize a crash amongst ourselves. Yeah. Um, what we can offer is the space. And we yeah. would like someone else to organize this without um, too much involvement from us. But we have sure. enough, plenty of rooms where it's possible to have that. We have really no problem with rooms because all these, all the, the smaller um, buildings down there, they all have uh, like common rooms because they are built for like um, school classes, having a camp in, and just renting one of the houses. They also all have small kitchens if you want to prepare something. Fair enough. And uh, another question, uh, have you considered hedging the international exchange rates for the inevitable collapse of the euro and the dollar? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, we are going to buy millions and billions of euros to stabilize the exchange rate. Yeah, we, uh, we don't know where to take them, but yeah, you know. I, I was going to suggest me. that, um, I mean, at the moment, the Swiss franc is pegged to the euro, um, and it has been for almost a year. So as the euro has been falling, the franc has been falling with it. But if that peg is removed, it, it could go up again. So we could hedge by um, buying the raw materials in advance at a predictable cost, like the beer and the food. And, um, uh, yeah, I'd suggest and, we'd and rather start um, building a bike shed here uh, down and then um, maybe paint it red or maybe blue, I don't know. But it is, it is a serious thing to anticipate for people coming from other places because they it could be a shock. It, the franc moved by 10% in one day when they did the peg. Um, uh, so we should anticipate a little bit. Yeah, so, so to be serious again, I think if it's about the cost of the individuals to come here, um, 
they can they feel free to do whatever you want to uh, ensure your uh, exchange rate risks. But I think that's something outside of DevConf. And for our most of our expensive, I don't think it matters that much because most of our budget will be paid in Swiss francs. The vast, uh, hugest amount will be renting the venues. So um, we are not in danger of the ex concerning the exchange act, I think. Can a volleyball court be set up? Set up what? Volleyball court. Uh, <laughs> volleyball. volleyball. Uh, so there are like two fields in there. Uh, we have seen pictures of setups like volleyball or tennis or something like that. But it's it's a thing we haven't really discussed because uh, we were also planning to use this space for a bar, so we have to see the priorities. <laughs> um, there was the question brought up on ISC about whether how liberal the people are there with respect to skinny dipping. So skinny dipping in the sea. Um, skinny dipping in the sea is strictly forbidden in Switzerland. That's why they don't have a sea. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I think it's a question we haven't asked ourselves yet, so I cannot really answer. But another thing I can say is that the whole venue will be completely for DebConf with only DebConf attendees 24-7. So we can do all the noise we want if we respect the, s the sleep of other attendees. <laughs> but I mean, the whole venue is, the whole venue is completely for DebConf. So if someone wants to go in the forest here and sleep naked, then... <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. That, that was the, the very next question I was going to ask, was were we going to have the whole place to ourselves? Um, secondly, I mean, how big is the biggest talk room likely to be? You know, how many people are we expecting to be able to deal with? Um, so the two talk rooms are somehow now planned like half of this building and the other one would be that building this one would be the biggest one we the house is dividing in the well the room is divided in two and the idea was to have in the first half uh, the lunch place and then the second half the talk room and we planned that for example the opening ceremony and the closing ceremony would we would use the whole space to have everyone in but i think something like 150 in the biggest talk room something like that would fit. Okay. Also, how much parking is there on site? I know there's, y you should expect there's going to be a lot of us driving down from the UK, for example. You know, can we park reasonably nearby safely? So, first of all, uh, we drive on the right, as the rest <laughs> of Europe. <laughs> now, there are, like, um, there are like 10 parking places here, but there are the venue is discussing building a new parking, and we don't know yet, but it's, uh, they have already had uh, several times many people coming in cars, so it's a, it's a concern for us too. I, I think we would find okay. a probable solution. You take note of the questions, right? <laughs> there are two more questions from ISC. Is there a sauna? No. <laughs> Not that we know of, but uh, it might be buildable. And what is the cell phone coverage, UMTS or something like that? The cell phone coverage we haven't tested, but I think it's probably Swisscom standard 4J thing. I think voice is uh, coverage with all providers. I don't know about data. That's for sure basic GPRS, but I don't know about 3G. I walked in late, so you may have answered this already. Um, what's the deal with Debian Day and getting locals to turn up and things? Because this is in the middle of nowhere, isn't it? So our corporate answer is it's not been decided yet. And the uh, currently running ideas is to have Debian Day in a university or high school. Well. Um, high-level school nearby and just bring the speakers there, but it's not settled down yet. What about the network infrastructure? I mean, probably you have good connection to internet, but uh, the between buildings, they have internet, they have 
connection, they have an internal network, that kind of things? So for now, we are, well, they are using IP over, um, over cows, so it's quite slow. Over but cows? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but no, uh, I mean, currently the venue has VDSL provided, and we are just discussing getting fiber here. And they already have wired network to at least this and these and these, these buildings, but not all bungalows. And then it's just a matter of wiring all down with Dep within DepCamp. But, but the talk the talk rooms are connected somehow. Um, okay. Yeah, we didn't decide the network setup yet, but um, we certainly, if we want to allow to uh, wire everything we want, that we discussed that. And um, yeah, we are quite sure that we will have a fiber connection to the venue built by next summer. It's not built yet, but yeah. Um. Have you considered allowing people to pay in Bitcoin? To pay what? To pay in Bitcoin. Bitcoin. The correct answer is no, yeah. Uh, no, we haven't considered it, and probably no. And on the airtier side of things, if you want a sauna, maybe if the wood can be used a little bit, maybe we could build a sweat lodge. Maybe. Yeah, we will definitely do a back shed buff somewhere here. <laughs> okay, so any, any more questions or? Okay, so well. Everything uh, will be fine. Everything will be fine. <laughs> everything will be sharp on time. Uh, we expect to see you all there the same day arriving on the same train that comes from the same plane. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for for this uh, introduction to the, to, the, to the Swiss venue. And well, uh, yeah, it's been a very nice uh, presentation. I think we got everybody excited to be there. And uh, well, uh, thanks very much. <laughs>